Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a multi-filter and multi-search application using CorePHP, Ajax and jQuery. In my last video, I completed the functionality of filtering the records based on these checkboxes and in this video I will discuss about filtering these records based on this drop down where I have various options like completed, pending, hold and in progress. Okay, So these are the various status based on which we can uh, search or filter the records. Okay, So if I want to view the details of completed records then I just have to select this completed status from this drop down then you can see all the tasks that have got completed started showing you in the table okay uh, if i want to see all the hold tasks then i just need to click on hold then all the tasks which are on kept on hold will start showing you in this table okay so this is what we will be going to discuss in this video okay so now let me just close this this is my already done application so i will just close it and now this is the application on which we are working okay so now here you can see i have a status drop down okay where you cannot see any list items inside this drop down okay so first we need to load this status from this table status okay uh, so for that we need to go to our index file okay so now here now i am in my index file where you can see this is the table header and inside this i have created a select drop down with a class of form control and i have given it an id as task okay and i have created an option called status and now i have written a query to select all the statuses from the status table okay next then i am checking is there any records present inside the table of status okay the if the row count becomes greater than zero that means we have more than one record present inside the status table then if i have more than one record present in that table then i have to iterate over those records and for iterating over those records i have used a for each loop okay and then this is the else part to display if we didn't have any record inside the table then in that case i will be displaying no data found okay if i have enough records present inside the status table then i'm going to display those records with the help of this option and i have given it an id as task id name as id and value attribute of this option i have set to the id of status okay so now you can see there is a status id field in the status table and i have passed this id to this value attribute of option okay and here i am displaying that status okay which is coming from this table which is this task status okay so now let me just save it okay and now when i refresh now you can see we don't have any options inside this drop down when i refresh you will see all the various status started getting loaded inside this drop down okay now what we need to do is we need to write an ajax post request uh, to our action.php file uh, from where we will fetch the details of completed records pending records hold and in progress records okay so now let me just come to our index file okay and then we will come at the end here okay uh, now you can see i have triggered an on change event by passing an id of task okay so this task is the id which i have given to this select drop down okay as you can clearly see here id equals to task the same id i am using in my jquery code okay so with that id i am triggering an on change event that means whenever a change has been noticed 
between these tasks okay this jquery gets executed okay and i have given an action as search by status okay so the same action i am going to use in my action file okay then i have received the id of each and every status okay uh, now let us try to print this id status id okay let's refresh and now when i select completed you will see the id of that particular status started displaying here okay and when i select pending then id of that pending option started displaying in the form of an alert box okay if i select hold then three id okay and then in progress has is having four id okay so these are actually these ids okay next okay then after getting the id of each and every status i'm going to make an ajax post request to this action.php file okay and i will be passing few details to action.php file along with the request and those details are action which is search by status and status id which is this id okay so these two pieces of information i am sending to my action php file okay then i will make a success function which will return me the data okay so if the ajax post request successfully gets made to action php file then it will be going to return some data and then that data i am displaying inside the table okay so now this is the id which i have given to my table okay now let me just show you that okay so now you can see this is the table body and i have given it an id as post list and in that table i am going to show the data okay save it okay next i will come to action file okay so here i have set an if condition and i have assigned search by status action okay so now this is you can see whenever user click on any of this drop down item then an ajax post request will be made to this action.php file and now in this inside this if condition i'm going to take the id which has been sent from this ajax post request status id okay and then i will execute this query select query okay which is joining two tables status data filter table and then status table okay so i have two comma i have a common field in both the tables data filter and status table which is status okay so i am going to map both of these tables with this common field of status id okay which is available in both the tables both in data filter table and then status table okay so now let me just show you that so this is my status table and here i have status id and in my data filter table i have status field okay so with these common fields i am making a mapping between both of these tables okay and then once i get the data then that data i am sending to this get data function here okay so if the data present inside the table then we will be iterating over that data using for each and we will be returning that data okay uh, so these things we have already covered in our earlier videos okay so now let me just save it and now i will refresh okay and now when i click on completed you will see the tasks which are completed which has the completed status only started displaying and if i change it to hold then only hold records started displaying and then if i click on in progress then only in progress records started displaying okay so this is how we can develop the functionality of filtering the records or searching the records using this kind of drop down
by making an ajax post request okay so that's all for this video guys uh, i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, there is only one topic left in this series which is deleting the record okay which i'll be going to cover in my next video okay so that's all for this video guys and thanks for watching